Welcome back. Today, we'll be having a look at my home network. So my network is in this cupboard in the hall. Just before we go in there, I just wanted to show you that above the cupboard there, you can see my TP-Link access point, which provides the Wi-Fi for the flat. Now, I've only got a very small space in this cupboard because we don't live in the biggest flat. Um, so this is a cupboard that stores lots of bits and bobs, but a portion of it is dedicated for my home network. Now, it is a little bit loud in there because of the fans in one of the servers. So what I intend to do is just give you a quick look at everything when it's turned on so you can see how loud it is. Then I'm going to turn it off and we'll talk through it in more detail. Okay, just before we get started, just a quick apology for the less than ideal audio and the shaky camera work. I'm holding the camera by hand here because there's no room for a tripod as I'm currently on top of a shelf in a cupboard. As you've seen from the shot earlier, there's not much room in here. So we're just going to start at the very top. Uh, that small black box there, that is a 4G router. Uh, it's a TP-Link 4G router. Uh, that is... Um, for failover. So if my main ADSL line coming into the house is to fail, that's set up in the router that it'll fail over to this so I can still get some internet access in the house. Uh, I kind of felt like that was semi-essential for me as I sometimes work from home. Below that we've got uh, my NAS, my network attached storage. This isn't very big, uh, three terabytes is what I've got in there at the moment and it's running Open Media Vault. Uh, it serves me fine just now, but as I'm making more videos, we may well have to upgrade to something larger uh, and that will make for an interesting video when it comes. Now moving into the cabinet itself, the first thing on top is a patch panel. So uh, how I've got this set up is this first bank of eight ports. These are all serving devices in the cabinet. The next bank of eight, that drops around the house, so this one's coming from the living room, that terminates behind the TV, another small network switch. And then over here, I've got Wi-Fi, so the Wi-Fi access point on this one, and this one here is the ADSL line coming from the modem. Below that, I've got an HP Procurve managed gigabyte switch, uh, nothing too special about that one. Um, below that I have a watch guard. This is a E750. Uh, this is running uh, PFSense as my router. I intend to do some videos on PFSense because it's a really interesting piece of software and it's very capable. Uh, it has eight network cards in it. These first three here, these go to the 4G router um, and these allow load balancing from, from the router. This one here is the LAN output to the switch, and this one is the line coming in from my modem. Okay, looking in the bottom of the cabinet, over here, this is my ADSL modem. So this has taken the line coming in off my phone line from my internet service provider, and that's feeding up into the, into the router. In the bottom here I also have two Raspberry Pis. This one here is currently running Pi-hole, which is a network-wide ad blocker. I do have a video on that coming soon. And this one here is running Hasio Home Assistant. I've already done a video on that and I'll link it above. Over in the back corner here, this is the hub for the IKEA Smart Lights. Uh, Really interesting product from IKEA and I intend to do a bit of a review on that once I get my head around how it works and we'll be um, making this work with Home Assistant. And then lastly at the back here we have the Hive Hub uh, so far our smart uh, thermostat. 
and that's about it uh, nothing too special in there so back over at my workstation here and I do have another network switch uh, this is a 10100 network switch it was actually the first network switch I ever bought um, I haven't run a cable from the network cabinet to this room yet it's quite a long run and I only have black cable at the moment um, so I'm waiting for some white cable to arrive so it's not quite as noticeable uh, I don't want to go down the road of cutting holes in drywall to run that cable so at the moment uh, to get connection to this I'm using this uh, TP-Link nano router uh, in bridge mode which has given me the internet connection into the switch uh, this uh, ethernet cable here is serving my main uh, workstation and this black one here is currently serving my web server however this once this is complete this will be going into the cupboard as well it is quite handy to have this on the desk uh, it gives me some ports when I'm troubleshooting or doing builds and projects 24 ports is probably a little overkill but it's what I have now but I am keen to upgrade this to a gigabit switch as soon as possible and there we have it my home network uh, thank you for watching Please consider subscribing, liking and commenting. If you are interested in any of the equipment that you've seen today, I have put some links to what I could find uh, in the description below.